Already wrote back in the old junk pile. It's time to put a drive shaft in that thing. I know I've got some drive shafts out here. I've got some drive shafts and here they are. This is what I do is I just take my junk and I throw it out here. I probably shouldn't throw it around like I do, but I do. As you can see, we've, we've cut a pair of hair, hairpins off here before. There's another set of those hairpins that we've cut off and had to shorten them. Um, you can see that I keep brake systems here, brake pedals, uh, clutch pedals, that sort of stuff. It looks probably, eh, not really, not really. I need a, a, the round end like this. And I keep drive shafts around at all times just because I make a lot of drive shafts. And there's not generally too much to it. I need this end like that to it bolts on. I know I've got some more. Well, be careful, sweetheart. Be careful, be careful. You got up against the shins already, didn't you? All right, come in through this way, sweetheart. Let's go down through this way. I got some more stuff down here. We'll just go this way. There's the fenders for your Bugatti. The next one, the third one. Ha! <laughs> And there's the back windows. Around the back of the Hotmobile, see the back windows? There's the back window on the Hotmobile. And there's the fenders. And the body's over there. A couple dry shafts there. And got no end on them. I know I got a couple down here because they, when we bought the other Jaguar, we had some parts. Doors. Here's some dry shafts right here. There's one right here. It's got the end on it that I need for the for the transmission. I've got look. I got look. Look. I'm growing them. I got one there. I've got one there. And I've got one there. This one here now, would you? That's got the, the slip slip joint. That one there looks pretty good. It's got everything. It's got the end for the transmission. Take the universal joint out of it, and then I have it for the rear end. Let's, let's take these two. Take these two right here. I've also got some some chrome bumpers for the Jaguar and uh, got some steering shafts here that were an awful big an awful big joint that they got going on there's a couple there's another one down there but it is what it is and also that would sort of be that's the chassis or it looks like a chassis that I use for the other car it looks like another chassis for the one inside that's what I'm basing that off of and there it sits me and Jolene were looking at the old Jaguar this morning, sitting outside, the one we bought from Bernie. We can't decide whether we're going to cut the roof off or not. <laughs> Every baby, huh? Hey, you cut the roof off that bad boy. Maybe. Jolene took me out to breakfast this morning. Took me to Subway, bought me a coffee and a cheese and egg sub. Happy with that. Happy with that. I'm real happy with that. Yeah, we're just back at the other end of the shop. Now we're going to put a drive shaft in this bad boy. And that is the end that I need. Look at that now, would you? That is the end, end I need right there. There you go. Look at that, would you? I knew there were a bunch of Jaguar uh, drive shafts out there, actually. That doesn't bolt up, you know that? I don't think... No, it doesn't bolt up. One of this end does. Ooh, that one does. That one bolts up. I'm just wondering if, okay, I just had it turned wrong. That'll bolt up too. Just had it wrong. Just closer together. Oh, making a, there we go. No, all right. I'm saying that bolts up now. There we go. There we go. She's bolting up now. Okay. Uh, so this is our slip joint, obviously. Slip joint, usually, I got on a, a 350 Chev or something like that, what we're used to making, or what I'm used to making, slides up inside the transmission, and the, it slides up inside. But on this one, it has this slip yoke right here. That's, that's where it has the slip yoke. 
and it would obviously need this for when the air ride come, when, it, when it's let down it would obviously pull on the drive shaft a little bit so this is the one I think I'm gonna cut and use as you can see I'll use the front that'll bolt to the transmission there's my slip joint there now what I gotta do is make it to length and take that off <coughs> we can do to get it off and I'll do the best I can do to get it off basically the end of it and what I'll do is I'll we're gonna make our own drive shaft right here right now I want these glasses I want some kind of clamp to get the, the clip out or some kind of look at that now would you I wonder if I have the right things or not Looks like it might work. And all these universal joints are a little bit different. Put my knee pads on. Knee pads on. So right now, the air ride, I get, I'm looking at it. Uh, I like it. I mean, I don't think there's much to change. There might be a little more I add, but I'm not going to change too much. It looks pretty good. I cannot let it go up and down yet. I do not want to cut that rear end free and weld them on there and see if it goes up and down yet. I do not want to do that. I think I'm going to wait for a rear end. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I'm not ready to cut it free yet. I don't want to weld all that stuff on there and then cut it back off when we get a new rear end. Alrighty. I got to probably pull that together, not to part. I got the wrong one, man. I even got a, I think I do, I'm not sure, I want to pull that together, Let's see what happens here, Gonna hold my tongue right is all. There we go. There we go. No, I want to go the other way. No, why do I want to? I'm gonna get a screwdriver, dig it up, get them things working. Confusing my head. Confusing my head. if I can get this bad boy out. This is not my forte every day, is taking out universal joints. It is not. But uh, we're gonna get this one out. Ah, come on. I squeak. That tool, see that tool I just had? If I put it together right, it would take it right out. <laughs> I didn't get it together right, did I? There we go. That's what I wanted. <laughs> to eat that thing, my, my face. Mm. Should get myself a hammy. Ba, 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 ba. Didn't get no hammer out yet. Let's grab a hammer. Hopefully this will only take a minute once I get the universal joint out. That'll be the hardest job to get the universal joint out. It's not something I do every day, but shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be a problem. There we go. Yeah, I've got it locked in there now probably. Yeah, if I want them to squeeze, yeah, let's put this together some here, here somehow. I think these are forked. Uh, 
there's another side to these bad boys. Come on now. There we go. Now we're talking, people. Just had to put them, chain them over, that's all. Get that in there. Come on. Yeah, these are my, not my best set of pliers. <laughs> uh, fuck. I need a screwdriver or something in there. Yeah, them are the best pliers ever. Hey, them are the best pliers ever. Ba, 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 ba. I don't need that. I don't need that. I'm just going to cut it off. I don't need it. Why, why bother beating and pounding? Why beating and pounding, Chad? Why are you going to bite and pound when you can just cut it off? And that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it off. Uh, I think it's probably easier for me to just to cut it off and then try to beat that universal joint out. And I'd put it up there and beat on it and pound on it. I'll just take the zip cut and cut it off. We'll be done in moments. Good thinking, Chad. You just cut it off. Ha <laughs> ha. Not with no power or not. This is what I'm going to say. That was a lot easier than trying to beat it out, wasn't it, baby? Huh? Men! Let's put that cat back on there. I don't want to take that off right yet. Come on, get on there. Um, I'm just going to knock that off. <laughs> And I will put a new universal joint in it before we before we do this. I'm just trying to mock something up. <laughs> Alrighty. We got what we want now. No messing around with that old tool over there that didn't do my job. Now, so now I've got this bolt up here and I've got this to go on here. My slip joint I should have a little bit of a slip going on there. So basically, this is what's going on. When you cut a drive shaft, see that see this universal joint where it's capped in like this? On that end is it's directly in line with this one. And that's basically all you have to do is line that up again. We'll cut it to length. We'll cut, take the weld off of this, pull that universal joint out. We'll cut it to length. We'll put that back in, line it up with this one, weld it, and be done with it. And that's the end of it. And that is the end of it. So I'm going to take this, grind the end off here. Um, I'll grind the end off first. I'll grind, what I'm going to do is grind the weld off around the edge, and then I might just cut it off all together and then zip cut it and get it out. Nah, eh, not doing that. Not doing that. Uh, I think I'm going to cut it.
just trying to get that yoke on the end, at the end of that drive shaft. That's all I'm doing. Just trying to get the yoke out. Don't want to cause any damage. Just want to get it out. I guess. Hope I didn't cut it too short. I don't think I did, but lots of length, lots of length, lots of length. Now, what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to I want to work and get this piece out. there that's fine alrighty let's find our new positioning and that'll be just I like to put that cap back on there if I could. It would be nice. I'm gonna put this cap back on, and I will change all the universal joints. I think before we start, let's face it, we want it to be as nice as possible. Uh, da, 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 da. Get these things standing up in here. Damn it. Yeah, there's. Just want to stand them two up. Needle nose right where, sweetheart? Needle nose. These things here? Eh, it's kind of, kind of got her now, I think, maybe. Just trying to stand these needles up. Get them in there right. Damn it. Come on out. Don't even need the needle, but. There we go. Put it back on. Even got a grease fitting. Yeah, we're thinking we're going in there. Well, it even fits the rear end. So that's our universal joint going in there. This is our piece here. So we'll take it in there. And we have a, a little length here to open her up. Uh, I have my marker in my pocket. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna get a marker. <clears throat> Chalk will do. <laughs> what are you looking for, sweetheart? Gonna turn them lights on? Baby's gonna light this place up. So we just got this here. I'm putting this universal joint in there. That's nice to be able to see that universal joint in there. I like a measuring tape too, but seeing where it's right here like this, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, it's not, we got a little ways to open that up. Hmm. I'm gonna say that's it. It'll open that up just a little bit, probably quarter of an inch, half an inch, that'll open it up, and the rest will be for the suspension going up and down. Just 
check this out. How much? I got quite a bit of room there. So what has to happen here? This is what has to happen here. This this is nice and straight around there. I know it is because I cut it with that weld. It cut off really nice and straight. So I'm going to try to cut a straight line on this, and then jam that in and reweld it. And that's that'll be the end of the story. That'll be the end of the story. What's that? My mic is falling down. I'm sorry. I apologize about that. It's Sunday. I want to hang with Jolene the rest of the day. But today, I told you that I was going to do the drive shaft, and here we are, right in front of your very eyes. I just cut the yoke out of the end of it. And I'm going to plunk it back on after I put a cut a new end for it, or cut the drive shaft off. We'll put the yoke back in, and basically that'll be the drive shaft for Jolene's car. Uh, the engine, um, you know, like I said before, like when you're lining this stuff and lining this stuff up and doing it, the engine, I just put in level, and then I tilt it back a couple degrees, two or three degrees, whatever, just a little bit, tilt it back just a little bit, so your engine oil runs back into your, to your uh, oil pan. The, the rear end, I will make the pivot point. I don't have the adjustment down here to make the pivot point down here. I'm going to make the pivot point before I weld all this on and put the arms on. I'm going to make the pivot point myself. And basically what I do with this is I do it level. That's level. I keep that, try to keep that level. And then I just aim it down two or three degrees. And that because when we jump on the engine, the first thing this, that, that this wants to do is go like this. So basically it wants to raise up. So that's why I'm just knocking it down a couple inches or a couple degrees to make it fit good. Good job, Fina. Good job. All righty. I'm going to cut this. Dry shaft, uh, and, uh, and I also must say, I've built a lot of drive shafts, and I've never had one wobble, never, never had one wobble. The only thing it, it's ever done is made the tire spin. That's the only thing. It, <laughs> that's, that's the only thing. <laughs> Probably could use a little heat. I'm going to take the die grinder, just wind it in there a little bit. Just give it a little head start. Die grind. Turn the air on. Jolene will be able to start her up today and drive her out the door because the dry shaft will be hooked up. But I got no seat. <laughs> You're all good. What was I looking for? Die grinder. Die grinder, just get this started. A little heat would be nice. I haven't got heat. Don't use don't use heat. I don't use it much, and uh, I don't acquire it because I don't use it much. So, wow, cut that off short, didn't I? I need the air hose. <laughs> Hoping I did it right. Hoping I did it right. If not, you know what happens? You do it again. And I got a couple out there. I got a couple out there, I do. Now I'm trying to line. See this yoke right here? Yep. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to line that up with that. Come on. I'm going to just leave it there, I guess. Hold it. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm going to weld it, sweetheart, so. Oh, it's all right. I can stay there. Not in front. Ooh, that's good. We're just trying to line that up with this one. Looks pretty good. Good to me. She loves me, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know one thing for sure when we weld her, she's not coming out. Huh? We weld her, she's not coming out. Looks good. We'll plan her down till she hits tight and then we'll weld it. We're on there, I think we're we're pretty We're hitting. Now we're lined up with this. Looks good and lined up to me. This one and this one. Lined up. How are you doing? Alrighty. Let's weld that bad boy in there. No, can't do that. How about we put the cups back on and see if we've made the drive shaft? Let's have that. Let's do that. I don't even have to weld it right at the present moment. I can. Doesn't matter. But I think I have some caps down at our, our, our nightstand down there for this. And that right there, folks, will be the drive shaft. I put a Well, that's it in the handbag really that's the end of the drive shaft right there that's how that's how that's how I do it every time uh, I would say drive shaft is complete pinion angles not right on the rear end not by a long shot that's not the rear end using uh, that was fun and that's basically the end of a drive shaft line your universal joints up do not you know line your universal joints up cut it off straight as possible get your yoke out Ram it back in and go for it. And also, there is, I have tried to, I'm one of them guys that would try anything. And what I'm saying is, I've tried exhaust pipe. It looks good, but it does not work. When you get going at high speeds, the exhaust pipe will flap and break on a dry shaft like this. You, there's a special dry shaft tube. And you just go to your metal, your metal place, your, your machining store, and ask them for a dry shaft pipe or whatever they call it dry shaft uh, yeah dry shaft pipe and you can make your own put your own universal joints in it you can do whatever you want you buy the size you want you put your ends in you line them up and you go for it it's that simple basically that's it got a dry shaft baby so if you started it up and put four bolts and nuts in that and put your cups on your rear end basically you could take off it is all hooked up um, that was pretty good. That went quick. I'm happy that I found that dry shaft with the with the pull joint there. So let's give away a hat or shirt. Let's do it. I want to thank everybody for coming back. It's Sunday. Me and Jolene had a little fun last night. We're two and zero. Huh? Three and zero. We're three and zero on the washers. Three and zero. I don't know if, if uh, Jolene's family like me telling them that, but we're three and zero. Right, we're baby. We're three and zero this year. Um, yeah, Jolene's an athlete, and I just try to follow. We're going to give away a hat and a shirt because we appreciate all the comments and everybody watching. 
um, you know, watching us build this. We're getting really close on everything to be satisfactory in my brain to continue on. And what, am I, what I mean by continue is I mean start nailing things down, like nailing all the mounts down, um, nailing all the stuff for the rear suspension down. Uh, I'm not going to weld the rear end, obviously, but there's a lot more stuff. The, the hairpins have to be finished being welded. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff that has to be finished, but we're pretty, pretty well getting it narrowed down for what it's going to be. Um, yeah, it's going good. It's going good. We want to thank you, and the way we're going to thank you is give you a hat or a shirt of your choice. That didn't take very long, did it? No. Huh? Five minutes? That's good. Should just cut it off before and try to try to get that clip out with that stupid tool. But that's the way she goes. How many comments? How many comments? I got a 454 and an old motor home out there, and I might use it someday. Might use it someday. I want to thank everybody for all the comments. 454. Good engine. Russ Taylor. Let's read Russ Taylor. I'm really enjoying watching Jolene's car being designed and built. Well, thanks, Russ. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm having a, uh, like I told Jolene the other night, you know, uh, I, when I first started off to, to build you this car, um, I was going to build it with whatever I had and try to satisfy you with, with trying to make it look like that. Um, now it's sort of taking a new life. It is taking a new life because I'm building it in front of um, thousands of people. And uh, I'm doing it, you know, one hour at a time to show you exactly how it's been built or how I do it. And uh, if you add up the hours that I've spent on the chassis, because you've watched basically the whole time that I've done it, um, it's going fairly well. You know, if, uh, if you told your worker to go in and make a drive shaft and you come back in, in less than a half hour and say, you get that done, what else do you want done? You'd be very happy, would you not? Um, and I'm very happy with you guys following and keeping up with it because I'm learning every day and uh, Jolene's looking mighty fine. So we're going to take off this one early and we're going to peace out. And congratulations, Russ. I really enjoy having you watch.